Hello. Hello. In, this In this lesson, lesson you're going to you're learn, going to learn about, about renewable and non-renewable non energy, energy resources. resources. You'll be looking, looking for, the for the advantages and the disadvantages, disadvantages of, each. of each. And in the, end, the end, you will you be, be deciding, deciding which, resources which resources we should be moving, should be moving as we as go we forward. forward. Uh, uh, we will want to consider Global warming, warming, whether we whether can we hold can the warming, hold warming to 1.5 degrees, degrees, as scientists tell us, tell us and we will want evidence, evidence solid facts, facts to back to up back our, opinions. our opinions. When you look, when you at, this look visual, at this visual, you can see on the see left several, several non-renewable non resources, resources listed, listed fossil, fossil fuels, fuels such as coal, coal natural, natural gas, gas, and nuclear. nuclear. This, presentation this presentation will primarily, primarily focus, focus on coal, on coal but also, but also other fossil, other fossil fuels, fuels in looking at, looking at what, they what they are, are how they how make they energy, energy, and what are some of the advantages and disadvantages. And disadvantages. On, another on another day, you will be focusing, focusing on renewable, renewable energy, energy resources, resources, being primarily, primarily wind, wind and, solar. and solar. And again, and again looking again, at advantages and disadvantages and, disadvantages and, evidence, and evidence to back, to back up, up your claims. claims. So please, so please pay attention, pay attention as, you as you go through, through these, these slides, slides and make and sure that sure you that record you your answers, answers carefully, carefully and completely and on your study, study guide so that, so that you can that use that at the end of the end week of the then to do your final, final analysis. analysis. Fossil fuels. Fossil fuel is a term used to describe a group of energy sources that were formed from ancient plants and organisms during the Carboniferous period approximately 360 to 286 million years ago, even before the age of dinosaurs. At that time, the land was covered with swamps filled with organisms and plants. As they died, they sank to the bottom of swamps and oceans and over millions of years started decomposing under layers of sand, clay, and other minerals. Different types of fossil fuels formed depending on the combination of organic matter, temperature, time, and pressure conditions while decomposing. There are three major types of fossil fuels, coal, oil, and natural gas. Coal was formed from ferns, plants, and trees, which hardened due to pressure and heat. Oil was formed from small organisms, like zooplankton and algae, where pressure caused the more complex organic matter to decompose. Natural gas was formed by the same process as oil, only it was exposed to more heat and pressure, causing it to further decompose and turn into a gaseous form. Fossil fuel. Fossil fuels are sought after energy sources because they have a high energy density. They are the world's dominant energy source. Fossil fuels have a variety of applications from electricity production to transport fuels. They can also be used to make a variety of common products, from plastics to cosmetics to even some medicines. These resources have powered industrialization over history and continue to do so today. Fossil fuels can be an abundant and cheap, or in some cases, a scarce and expensive form of energy, depending on geographic location. For this reason, geopolitical issues arise due to scarcity caused by the natural geographic allocation of these highly valuable resources. Fossil fuels are considered non-renewable resources because they take millions of years to form which means that once they are used, the resources will not be replenished in a human lifetime. The gradual depletion of the most accessible fossil fuel reserves have forced companies to develop technologies for extracting more challenging or unconventional reserves. In many cases, this means additional safety and environmental concerns as well as higher costs. Fossil fuels are also the largest emitters of carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas which causes climate change. In addition, their production causes both environmental and human health issues. These concerns have triggered society to look at alternate sources of energy that are more environmentally sustainable and renewable.
and renewable. That's fossil fuels. In a thermal power station, like the Boundary Dam power station near Estevan, coal is burned in a boiler to convert water to steam. The steam goes into a turbine which turns a shaft. This shaft is connected to a generator that makes power as it turns. Coal is a highly abundant and cheap energy resource. Coal has powered the industrialization of many nations over history and continues to today. It is a big player in today's energy system, providing 40% of the world's electricity. One major concern with coal is the mining practices used to extract the resource ecological impacts and human safety issues both for workers and neighboring communities are growing concerns for the industry. Coal Coal is the most CO2-intensive fossil fuel when combusted because it is composed largely of carbon. Coal also contains other elements that cause pollution problems including sulfur, nitrogen, mercury and heavy metals. SOx is a leading cause of acid rain and NOx emissions contribute to smog. In addition, particulates from coal combustion can be harmful to human health. Concerns about climate change change from greenhouse gas So this graph is looking at the average cost of different energies over time. Got the cost going on the up and down axis there in dollars. And then along the bottom, we have the years over time, starting at 2009 to 2019. So that's the most recent data we have there on the far right. As you can see, each energy source is color-coded and labeled, and so we're comparing a couple different ones on what their most recent cost is. So record those dollar amounts in number six. So this pie so this chart is showing, is showing us, us the differences, differences in the amount of jobs, jobs held within each, each energy, energy source. source. Black there Black is there fossil, fuels, fossil fuels, so that's of so course, that's course the non-renewable non section, section, and then non-fossil non fuels, fuels or renewable, renewable section, section is there in there green. green. So the, so the big pie big chart pie shows chart all the jobs, the jobs within, within those, those sectors. sectors. And then over and on the right hand right side in the key, in the key you can see a little bit more specific, more specific of a breakdown. Of a breakdown. So, fossil so fossil fuels, all of it is shown, of it is shown in the pie, in the pie chart, chart, but then but coal, coal is specifically, specifically um, that many that jobs. jobs. And same thing same with non-fossil non fuels. fuels, you see them you all see in the pie chart, but a breakdown of wind and solar out of all those jobs. 